Hello folks, in this video we are talking about the Northwest Ordinance. Uh, your objectives are to explain how the Northwest Ordinance provided for the temporary governing of the Northwest Territory and describe these provisions or laws of the Northwest Ordinance on education, uh, rights of citizenship, slavery, and Republican government. So let's start off with how did we get here. The American Revolution ended and, of course, the United States won in their fight for independence against Great Britain. Since that happened, Great Britain gave up their land and um, the treaty in which they gave up their land was called the Treaty of Paris. And this was signed in 1783. This is when the United States acquires what's known as the Northwest Territory. You can see we are in that Northwest Territory. Please make sure that you are writing down the states that are included in that territory. So when the U.S. acquired this land, the government decided that this area would become new and separate states, and the land would be sold to make money for the U.S. government. So remember, at this point in time, the U.S. government could not tax its citizens, so it had no way of making money. Also, the government was in a lot of debt because they just finished fighting the American Revolution, which was very costly. So in 1787, the U.S. government addressed a need for government in the Northwest Territory, right? So there had to be some laws about what was happening in that Northwest Territory. So what happened was we see the Northwest Ordinance establish laws for the future government of the United States as well. So even though these laws were first made for the Northwest Territory, we see them being extended and used in the Bill of Rights later and the Constitution as well. So that's why this Northwest Ordinance is important is because this is the first time that we see these laws written down in a document and then they go on to influence our later government, which we still have today. So I'm going to talk to you about these five precedents or provisions or laws, all of those words mean the same thing. First of all, this territory in the Northwest Ordinance here, or I'm sorry, in the Northwest would not be colonized. And what that means is this territory would become states. They, it would become a part of the United States of America. It would not remain separate from the United States of America. Number two, it established a need for education and federal funding for education. So in the Northwest Ordinance, it says that every township should have a school. And so, since the Northwest Ordinance required schools, it also established a basis for this national or federal aid for education. So we see the national government giving money to schools for the first time so they can operate. Number three, the Northwest Ordinance included a lot of basic rights of citizenship. So some of these natural rights that we've been discussing previously. So we see in the Northwest Ordinance um, freedom of religious worship. We also see the right to trial by jury and no cruel or unusual punishment. So these are all precursors to the Bill of Rights, um, which also makes sure that we are allowed as US citizens all three of these things. Number four is a big one. It's very important to know that there, were no, there was no slavery in the Northwest Territory. This is very important because the government basically took a stand and said, that it did not want to expand slavery anymore, indicating that they knew that it was wrong. And then lastly, the Northwest Ordinance established a Republican government for the Northwest Territory. And I don't mean Republican government as in it is ruled by the Republican political party. 
What I mean is, if you think back to our Pledge of Allegiance, right? I pledge, of alle I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands. What that phrase means, to the republic, means that the government of our society is based on people voting in elections to pick their representatives. That's what a republic means. Um, so basically voting rights, elections, and laws. And so that's why the Northwest Ordinance is important because we see these five precedents or laws written down for the first time that then go on to contribute to our Constitution and Bill of Rights.